And as you just heard, environmental concerns, of course, remain a big issue. Uh, Carmen Blackwell spoke with politicians today about it. Growing concerns following the train derailment in East Palestine prompted Ohio Democrats to gather for a roundtable discussion just hours ago. State Senate Minority Leader Nikki Antonio from Lakewood led today's discussion, laying out a few key points for the best safety approach for residents. So right off the bat, we've come up with a number of things that we can do that are concrete, solution-based, and proactive going forward. And, you know, the making the best of a worse situation is trying to improve things either if we can prevent uh, great but if we can't prevent something like this from happening again can we improve the response um, to make things safer for the people of ohio democrats say the governor's decision to allow residents to return home may have been safe in the short term but not for the long term so if it were your family governor you'd be okay sending everybody back home yeah, look, I mean, we, we indicated that uh, we're, we're going to continue to test the air. We're going to continue to test the water. Uh, but what that is indicating is that it is, is very, very safe. But Democrats believe there is not enough evidence or testing done yet to determine the area is safe enough to return. And now the focus turns to finding solutions to fix not only this disaster, but any others that may come in the future. This is a human rights uh, Ohio citizens' right to be feeling safe and secure in their homes. Well, the Democrats also say that they're setting up a plan. This is to work with state Republicans and the federal government to make sure that the citizens of East Palestine are taken care of. Russ? All right. Carmen Blackwell, thank you.